Hey, what's going on, guys? I have Studios here for another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some simple studio lighting in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. First, we're going to make our backdrop, and we're going to do this by just adding in a cube, and we're going to scale it up a bit, just like that. And we're going to move it up above the ground level. So we'll just move that up. There we go, <clears throat> just like that. And we're going to uh, set in under the object section here, add a fillet. And we're going to set the fillet radius to like um, 150 should be good. And you can leave this fillet subdivision. I should bring that up to 10. And yeah, so fillet subdivision at 10 and fillet radius at 150. So we're going to make the object editable um, so we can edit the polygons. And we're just going to go ahead. Here, let me position my camera better here. There. Uh, we're going to delete all these polygons here. And then we're gonna just going to hit Control A on the keyboard, select all the polygons and shift and left click on all these polygons to deselect them because we want to delete all the polygons except these and that will give us a nice kind of backdrop or you can make the backdrop how however you would normally make it i usually make mine like this though um i usually make mine like this so okay we got the backdrop done we're gonna make a new material and we'll just name this material backdrop because we might as well apply to the backdrop and um i'm going to add make a new material again and we will call this orange light all right let's open it up um so this is going to be our kind of soft light from the side so we're going to do an orange and a blue light um from the sides and yeah so anyway disable the reflectance channel we'll leave color just like it is and under the luminance channel oh i forgot actually in the color channel set your brightness to 30 and okay good so back to luminance, texture, use a gradient, and we will set the type to a 2D circular, and right click on this thing right here, and we're gonna invert knots. And that will just make it so we get this nice, right in the center, and then gradually fades out to black. And you know, you guys can obviously tweak this as much as you want, but I'm just gonna leave it as, um, as default, because I think that'll work for us. And now I'll double click on here to set the color, and I'm going to use an orange. You can use any color you want, even white, if you want to be that boring. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can use any color you want. But um, I'm just going to use an orange. So nice orange, just like that. Nice deep orange. <clears throat> Should be good. Okay. And also in the illumination section, we're going to set the strength to 250. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, and we're actually going to copy it and paste it again. And we're going to call this one blue light. And we'll just open it up, go to luminance, click on the shader thing, or click on the, um, the gradient. And we'll just click this again, and we will change it to a nice blue color. I think just like that should be good. Um, a bit of a darker blue. Just like that should be good. Any color you want, as I said. And that will automatically change it to blue, and good. <clears throat> now, we're going to add a plane, and we're going to rotate it set this to 90 degrees. So we're going to do a plane, and yeah, we're just going to move this into position right about here. Should be good. It's not too not too perfect. You don't need to be too perfect. You can copy it, paste it. Oh. Um, move it over here. Oh, copy pasting done with Control c and then Control v Anyway, and we'll just move them a bit closer like that, and we'll apply the blue light to this one and the orange light to this one. So we get that nice kind of soft lighting. Uh, now we're also going to make a top light. So we'll add a plane. And the top light will be a not so bright. Um, it'll be a not so bright white light. Because we do want a bit of white lighting in there. But we don't want it too bright. Because we still do want lots of orange and blue. So let's go ahead and just make a new material. And we'll call this one top light. And we'll open it up, just disable the reflectance, enable luminance. And you can also disable the color if you want to as well. You don't need that. Uh, and in the illumination section, we're going to set the strength to... Actually, we'll leave it at 100 and enable GI area light. So this is our main light, but we don't want it as strong. So, <clears throat> now that's done, we're going to add in a sphere. And I'll make a nice material for it as well in a second here. But we're just going to add the sphere in, and we'll put it slightly above floor. I think just right there will be good. Alright, there we 
go. Uh, now let's just uh, position our camera and add that in. So just like that. Right, uh, add in the camera and click on the sphere. We're actually gonna, okay, go to the object section. We're actually gonna bring up the segments and we'll bring it up to 128 because we want lots of polygons. Um, so it looks like a nice smooth sphere. Uh, all right, let's make the sphere material. So double click and we're gonna call this one uh, sphere. <clears throat> so new material. And in the material, we're gonna be using a Fresnel reflection. So go to reflectance, <clears throat> add, what is it, GGX reflection. And in the layer Fresnel, <clears throat> set it to dialectic. And that'll give us a nice reflection, a uh, nice uh, Fresnel reflection. Also set the annotation to additive and that'll just get rid of that annoying black um, annoying black line around the <clears throat> around the um, the outline. So set it to additive and we get a nice smooth. Um, <clears throat> and also you can change the color of the sphere if you want to but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it at a nice um, white and we'll apply that to there. All right. Uh, I'm going to go into my camera and just position it just like that should be good. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to deal with the render settings. So open up your render settings and we're going to set the output to 1920 by 1080. This is what I recommend for rendering. Um, it's full HD. So yeah, it's good to use. Uh, we're all going to add a ambient collision effect and a global illumination effect. <clears throat> and in the global illumination, sec global illumination section, use the preset. Um, we will go ahead and just use object visualization high. And the samples, you can turn that up to 512 and get a good bunch of samples and it'll look good. And you can obviously change these settings if you want to. I think we'll just leave them at default. And renderer, I have checked and physical. For standard, there is almost no difference in this scenario, so don't even bother using physical render. And uh, here, let's, let's give this a test render, and we'll see how it looks. All right, looking good. The blue light and the orange light is just what I want. <clears throat> Let's see here. Good, looking good. I like it. And um, yeah, you can tweak the brightness of the top light and everything, but I'm liking this a lot. I like it. So <clears throat> I think this is pretty good studio lighting. Um, you guys can tweak it, of course. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts. And uh, if you have any requests for tutorials, let me know. I will make them. And, um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.